Friday night at 6.30, SNN, in partnership with the Herald Tribune, will air a special report, Bitten in Northport. This month's special takes a closer look at the Northport K-9 unit. Suzanne Lee has a preview. The K-9 unit at Northport Police Department has walked away with some serious awards, and a few bitten by the award winners have walked away with some serious scars. That's the worst pain I ever had to go through in my life. Pretty much motionless and at that point lifeless, I think. After a year-long investigation, including reviewing more than 2,500 Northport police documents, the Herald Tribune and reporter Michael Scott Davidson have found one K-9 officer team stands out above the rest. In recent years, uh, no officer on the Northport Police Department's K-9 unit has won more awards than Keith Bush, but no other author, officer has come close in the number of dog attacks uh, that have come from their K-9 partner. During a 30-minute special airing this Friday night at 6.30, SNN and the Herald Tribune introduce you to a few people Davidson met during his journey. I mean, you had lost enough blood that yeah. you recognized right. right. Of a year-long review of the Northport Police K-9 unit. In fact, when looking at data from 2011 through 2014, we found that Tommy bit more than 20 people, which was far more than any of uh, Northport's other handlers and observe the wounds, scars, and aftermath they deal with today. They came in, I couldn't move or anything, and I was so afraid. It, when the doorbell rings, even you guys ringing the doorbell now still does something. Just seeing you at the door, it just sends kind of chills through my body. Suzanne Lee, SNN, Suncoast News Network. SNN and the Herald Tribune special report, Bitten in Northport airs Friday night at 630.